Welcome to Tamar Bowling Video Ball Reviews. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on YouTube and Patreon. Check out our partner Puret Bowling at puretbowling.com. Welcome everybody. Today we have another round in our best of series, Tamar's Favorites. Since we get to bowl with a lot of bowling balls, only some will make it to my personal favorites. So this episode, I'm going to cover the 2018-2019 season hybrid symmetrics. Um, again, this is a subjective opinion. It's all about me. So who do you think you are? I am. All right, so let's get going. All right, so let's jump right in. Number five is the Hammer Scandalous, or Scandal S, however you want to say it. You know, the, the Scandalous is a very strong ball. It has a heavy roll um, and higher oil coverage uh, of a typical ASIM, let's say, but the continuation of a symmetric. Um, and the special thing about this ball is that, you know, despite it being very aggressive overall, it still has great back end. Um, the reason it's not higher on the list is that it does require me to open up my angles more than I want. But honestly, this thing booms down lane. I could see a lot of people using it. I like the way it rolled for me. All right, so we're going pretty quick here, and I'm at number four. Number four is the Columbia Chaos. Um, you know, th this is the green monster, if you will. Like the hammer ball at number five, the Chaos is also a strong ball. It also has really nice, strong back end. Um, and just like the Scandalous, it, it's strong in the mids, but doesn't puke down lane. Um, it, it has, you know, a kind of good down lane motion that keeps going. Um, and that, that's pretty noticeable. And the real difference for me between those two balls is that the Chaos doesn't force me to open up my angles so much through the fronts. In other words, I can be a, be a little more direct. And if I want to take advantage, you know, of that heavy forward roll I can with the Chaos. And this thing really goes through the pins nicely for me, and it's very usable on sport shots. So number four is the Columbia 300 Chaos. All right, so we are up to number three. Uh, so what do you think? Number three, uh, is it another ball in the EBI family? Well, actually, it is. Um, it is the Ebonite Game Breaker 3. Um, I have an uh, affinity, get it, uh, <laughs> for this particular core. Um, if you've seen my other video, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but, you know, the, this core works, period. Um, the, honestly, my love affair uh, started with the original V2 um, many years ago. Uh, the GB3 adds a strong hybrid cover, which kind of supplements the motion, gives even more control uh, in the mid lane. Um, so, so in the end, I get great mid lane control with good controlled and predictable back end motion. So strong but predictable back end motion. Um, and, and this is more of a medium to medium high volume ball for me. Uh, but again, is a ball that, you know, really um, hits the sport shot target for my game. Um, it creates a little too much mid lane friction on house shots. For me to carry effectively, so even if, even though the the motion is pretty predictable, kind of slows down a little too much to keep going through the pins on a regular basis when there just isn't as much friction on on the house shots and then a defined um, you know friction at the end of the pattern. Um, hence, there are two other balls ahead of this one in my list. So number three is the Ebonite Game Breaker Three. All right, we are at number two. The Motive Venom Cobra is my number two uh, favorite hybrid symmetric for 2018-2019. You know, the, the Venom Cobra for Motive, you know, punches right towards the top of my list. And you know, what can I say? I mean, this ball was extremely usable for me. I had it in the bag for a long time. Um, yes, it's been around for a while, um, but, you know, it, it was around for a while for a good reason. Um, it was just always very predictable. Um, always got through the fronts easily, through the mids pretty easily, um, which is what you need on house shots, but also had a rounded move down lane that rarely jumped. So you know it's going to go, but it didn't 
you know, sort of surprise me and go, wait, what was that? Um, it always just did its thing consistently. And I, I, I also love the way it looks rolling down the lane. Um, so number two is the Motive Venom Cobra. All right, so we have reached the number one slot. I think this is not going to be a stretch when you hear what my number one is. Um, but, you know, the number one hybrid, symmetric, 2018-2019, for me personally, is the Storm High Road. Um, so, you know, we're finally here. I've had a high road around one way or another for many, many years. Um, you know, does this ball deserve to stay around the top this long? Uh, well, if nothing else can dethrone it, yeah, I guess so. Uh, you know, for, for context and maybe to some surprise, when I first got the high road a long time ago, I, I actually hated it, to be honest. Um, why? Because it was too flippy and uncontrollable. Um, you know, for me personally, at that time in my game, I liked the shape, but I just had no control. Um, I tried it for 15 games and, and I was just like, no, man, I can't. I had it redrilled, um, you know, uh, put a pin down layout on it and eh, still wasn't crazy. And after another 15 games, all of a sudden I came to a realization that this ball has become amazing. Um, <laughs> so it's sort of like as the cover settled down, the ball just kind of came into its own for me. Um, and I've always tell, you know, always tell this story. Got, you know, put 30, 50 games on the high road and then it was just like magical for me personally. Um, and, and it stayed that way for a long time. Um, even after hundreds of games on my original one, it was still a great piece and even shot 300 with it after that many games. Um, just super predictable at that point. Um, and, and now it's still around, sitting on the mantle somewhere. Um, I, that old one, I have a new one. And while my game has changed over the years, uh, it still remains my personal favorite symmetric uh, hybrid ball on the market. So the number one hybrid symmetric for this season, for me, is the Storm High Road. All right, well, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of Tamara's Favorites. Um, were you surprised by any? Maybe some, maybe not. Um, what are your favorites? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and join us on Patreon. Thanks again for watching and see you in a future episode.